Hey collective, welcome to my channel, the Vani True Tarot. I'm your reader, Annetta, and we are going to tap into the energy of what do your person wants to say to you? Um, we're going to see what messages is coming out in your person's energies that you need to know, or they would like for you to know, but they're not saying something of the sort. This is a new spread that I'm trying, or I should say a new energy that I'm tapping into. So we're just going to see what messages come out. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear, precise messages to my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to you to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right, let's see. Let's see what your person have to tell you, collective. All right, let's go. Holy Spirit, what message do the collective's person have for the collective? Thank you. All right, we have two popping out here. It is, ooh, they cry for you at night. This is grief and sorrow here. And they want to know, what do you see in me? So your person know that it's something about them that caused them to be in the energies of sorrow, guilt, and regret. But this, I cry at night. Okay. Um, yeah. Very heavy energy here, being the first energy out. <clears throat> this is feeling like your person is remorseful or regretful for something that transpired in your connection. Thank you for the confirmation. You are too nice, and I do not deserve your kindness. This is why your person want to know what do you see in them. They know they're not right. Just can't get right. They know they either done something against you in the connection, that they're having remorse over, crying at night. It's making me feel like you walked away from them. Mm -hmm, they can't talk to you right now, so you guys are not talking at the current moment. They don't know what to say. All they know is that they're drowning in tears here. Okay? Yeah. Let's see. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? They can't talk to you right now, so this person is blocked, or they're not reaching out, or they're keeping themselves from reaching out to you. Shamed and embarrassed. You were right. Something you told your person collective that they now they see. Now they see that you were right all along. They need time to figure themselves out. They was, trying to, they was trying to hide behind a lie, hide behind a mask or something like that. And you called their asses out. Uh huh. You told them the truth about they self. You told them the truth about what they were doing. You told them the truth about where you stand and the connect. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. Something of the sort. This is making me feel like you broke up with them and you told them exactly the reasons why. They done fucked up or did something. Because this crying at night, mm -hmm, they cry when they're alone. They mm -hmm, now need they need time to figure themselves out. <clears throat> they wish they could understand you. Yeah, they, they because you were right. Okay, it's like you could have told your person that something is going to happen, something's going to pan out the way it did. They didn't believe you. Now they do. Here we have. I'm better with my mind than my heart. They didn't tell you exactly how they feel about you. They wasn't showing the full emotions that they have. Look at damn it. I was trying. I need to hold back my true feelings from you. No, I need to hold back my true feelings for you. This is a lie. They're not being truthful to their self. They're not being truthful with you. They wish they could be different. They didn't show up for you because they couldn't handle your love. They didn't show up for you, collective. Not the way that you needed them to. Are not the way that they know that they should have. And now they're crying at night. Mm, what they're crying about? Let's see. Let's see what they're crying about, Holy Spirit. What can you tell me? Let's see. Big tears. I mean, very remorseful here. They know they're not the type, they're not the person, the type of person that you need. Because they, they didn't. What's that? They, they. They're coming up short. They're coming up short. Okay. What is this? Abundance. Keeping a positive mindset manifests exactly what you want. This is why they, they're grieving you. They're grieving the loss of you. Damn it, coughing. Because this connection is over. 
and they're grieving this. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, and transformation. The, end, the loss of you or the ending of this connection is changing your person. Now they're in their feelings. It's making me feel like your person was holding back feelings. Well, they they just say right here, I need to hold back my true feelings from you. This is what they did. And because they did that, they lost you. Or the connection has changed. Or you have changed in the connection or something of the sort. But now they, 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 they see that they could have had it all with you. They see that you were very abundant. This connection was very abundant. But this crying at night, they lost you. Mm -hmm. Or they, they lost the connection or they did something against the connection that it's like they're regretting now. They like you. Now they like you is what I heard. Now they like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they, they want to they wanna go out. They want to date. They want to have a second chance is what I'm hearing. Looking at your photos and their phone. Some of you guys, they have, I heard, secret pictures. <laughs> you know, little naughty girl, naughty boy pictures, you know. They 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 reminiscing about it. They they're 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 in their feelings about what it is that they have with you. The relationship was beautiful, but something that your person did or said, okay, changed you in the connection. And now you're not the same person. You're not showing up as the person that you that you was when you first got together with your person. Mm -hmm. They couldn't handle your love. You loved them, and they 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 didn't know what to do with it. If they could go back in time, things would be different. For some of you guys, your person is addicted to drugs and alcohol. Hence the reason why they did the things that they did, because they was they wasn't in their right mind. Did things when they was alleviated that now they, they regret because you could have found out collective and was like, hell no. Nah. Mm. So I'm just saying. What can you tell me about you are too nice? I don't deserve your kindness. This is what I'm saying. They know they love you. Or they know that you love them. But they shit. And they could have fucked it up. Let's let's get it. Let's go. Holy spirit. What can you tell me about that? Now they want it back. This is why they're crying. I heard you was the best thing that happened to them. And they want it. Can't have it. Damn it, you twin flame. This is the twin flame you here connection here. Mm -hmm. They were being an asshole on this journey. They feel as though you're not enough or they're feeling as though they're not enough to continue this journey here. This is why they wish they could be different because they feel as though they're not enough for you because you are in the twin flame connection. If you're not in the twin flame connection, this is not your reading. You can get messages from this reading if it resonates, but the, the majority of who I'm picking up on, they're in the twin flame connection and they feel... Your twin feel as though they're just not good enough for you. This is why they cry for you at night. Or, or, or you could feel as though your twin is not enough for you and you bounced. And this is why they're crying because they didn't show up or they couldn't be the person that you needed them to be in the relationship. This is why they're feeling like they're not enough. They can't talk to you right now because this is shame, shame, sadness, and guilt here. What can you tell me about can't talk to you right now? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about can't talk to you right now? Please and thank you. Okay, I'll take it. Heartbroken. This is why they can't talk to you right now. Your person is heartbroken. They didn't show up in the connection. Deeply hurt, sad about the separation, this breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're holding back from even communicating with you because I heard egg on face. But they, they, they just didn't show up. They just didn't show up. You were right all along. So whatever you told your person, you could have told them about themselves. You could have told them about the things that they were doing or what they were not doing. And, and, and you, you were right. Your person, you were right. Your person is not enough. This is what they're feeling. What can you tell me about you were right? Okay. We have, oh my goodness, that's way too many. I don't want all them. Let's get one. Holy Spirit. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. Okay. Can we kick it out? Ooh, I said no. <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead with your turn. Phoenix. Phoenix rising. In a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. You were right. Because some of you guys, your person was just lying to your face. 
trying to hide the fact of something that you knew, something that you were telling them. You was telling them the truth and they was trying to hide that truth. Lying and shit. Self-indulgence. Focus on self. They were selfish. They were selfish in this connection. You could have told your person that they were selfish, that they didn't care about you or the connection or something of the sort, and they was lying to you. Like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They didn't show up. That's what I'm getting. They didn't show up for you in the connection. And now they butt hurt about it. They can't even face you, let alone talk to you. Mm. Yeah, your person is better with their mind than with their heart. So this is like a king of swords energy right here to me. You know, very logical, analytical, head of a heart type person. You know, if it don't make dollars, if it, okay, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. This is, this is some of you guys, the person. So, you know, it's, it's like they was running off of what they knew or what they thought they knew versus what their heart was telling them when it came to the connection. Okay. What can you tell me about I'm better with my mind than with my heart? They just didn't open up to you. Mm -mm. Palm tree. Stability, security, growth, flexibility. They saw you as a stable connection, but they heart, they just wouldn't follow. So, like I said, if something in a connection with you, collective, didn't make sense to your person, your person reacted off of that. Overthinking this here. Thinking that they're right. Knowing damn well you were. Or they came to find out that you were. Yeah. They felt as though being with you was the right choice because of some type of stability. They could make it with you. They could have a foundation, home. You know, uh, they could build with you or something like that. But they were, that's their, analyt that's their uh, analytical thinking. But they wasn't really moving in the energies of emotion or love here. It made sense to be with you versus they want to be with you because they love you and they want to be with you. It made sense to be with you, okay? What can you tell me? Yeah, holding back their true feelings from you. What can you tell me about holding back their true feelings? Can you pick it up? <laughs> All right, it's enough. All right, let's get it. Love call. Now they want to tell you. Somebody expresses love to you. Now they want to tell you about their feelings for you that they were holding back. They like you. I heard they like you now. Mm. Watching, looking, and stalking. They stalking you, babe. Okay, with these sunglasses. They trying to hide the fact that they stalking you. Huh. Not showing their true feelings. Not showing their true colors. Holding it back from you. Now they want to express that. Because they're broken hearted. Things are changing. With your person, now they see that this connection with you was abundant. It was worthy. It was worthy. It was a worthwhile connection with you. Now they see the truth about that. This is why, but they couldn't handle the love that you had for them. So they ran from the connection, hiding their feelings from you because they couldn't handle your love. You were too much. For some of you, you some of you collective, your person, they, they, they never really been in love, felt this type of love from somebody. You know, they could have had challenges when it comes to emotions or expressing emotions or even receiving the emotion that you were given. They didn't know how to, they didn't know what to do with it. It makes me feel like they never had to. They never experienced the love like it was before. So they ran from it. They didn't want to give into it. They didn't want to be vulnerable to it. This is why they wish they could be different. They wish they could have opened up. They wish they could have been receptive of your love. What can you tell me about I wish could be I wish I could be different? Mm -hmm. It was scared. It was running scared. Mm-hmm. Hundred miles and running. Uh -huh. So you guys could live a uh, hundred miles away from each other. Break up and separation. Yeah, they wish they could be different because you guys broke up. You guys were separated. Grand Reaper. It's a uh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap because they did show up for you. This relationship is over. No second chances. Growth and transformation in your life. Final. Now they see. Now they wish that they could have been in a person that you needed them to be in a connection. 
But it wasn't until after they lost the connection with you that they realized. They real. I heard they realized they love her, or realized they love them. Now they want to tell you, they was holding back their feelings from you, but shit. Now that you're gone, now the relationship is over, they want to express this to you. They just didn't know what to do with you. You know, it's like your person did what they always did in connections. Run, high feelings, not give in fully to the connection because they're scared to fall in love. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me? Let's see. Okay. Holy Spirit, we can't go to despair. Then I picked up the deck. Yeah, your person is in despair. Yeah, and it's because, you know, things changed. Things changed. Now they're in a bad headspace about it. You stay on their mind. What can you tell me, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me, please and thank you? What's this popping up? Concern. Now they're in despair. Now they're concerned. Concerned about the fact that shit. They 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 stuck. They stuck in thought of you. They want to tell you something with this mouse energy, but it's like, this is coward energy to me. Sneaking around, sneaky, sneaky. They want to sneak away towards you, but they can't. They sitting here wondering about it. Yeah. Wondering about if they could, if they should reach out to you and tell you this. Reach out and call you. Because they're, they're very am enamored about you, but they're heartbroken. They broke their own heart. Yeah. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Pathway. They want to make the return. They want to make a return. Change. Yeah. They want to make a turn or, or return to you. Wishing, hoping, and praying they could. Message of concern to change. Message. We got a message of concern, message, and change. You see what I mean? Now they want to reach out and talk to you. Now they want to express their love to you. And it was hiding those feelings from you. Some of you guys, they're going to return. They're going to come back and they're going to tell you things that they should have told you when they were with you. Because they just stuck on you. They just can't get you off their mind, out their energies. It's something of the sort. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Family room. They want their family back that they left. For some of you. Yeah. Look, main mail and house and courtship. They want, they want that dynamic back. They want their family back. But this separation is final. This is how they feel or this is what actually is happening. You made it known. Okay, shit, you're right. Some of you guys, this relationship is over. A new phase that you walked into. I heard you changed your life. Mm -hmm. Now you're on your pathway and your purpose in life. What else can you tell me? Mm -hmm. The person, now they're stuck in the sum of their decisions. They want to reach out and talk to you. So they could be emailing you, texting you. If they haven't, they will. Mm-hmm. They ain't mailing courtship. They want to be your... They want to start over again. Can we just start new? Can we start over? You know, something like that. Yeah. They got they got a download about who you are. We got main female in the reverse. That's because you're not a false person. At the bottom of the deck, for some of you guys, um, your person showed up as false. And this is the reason why you removed yourself from the connection. For others, you, their person could have removed you from the connection because they were false. They weren't. They weren't true to self. So they they could have ended the connection here. Mm -hmm. And now they're stuck on you, left, leaving the family room empty, and stuck on you. They can't stop thinking about you, mature woman. See what I'm saying? You showing up as divine feminine, very mature, very experienced, very wise. And they just can't stop thinking about the connection that they have with you. Again. Mature woman, the okay. Mm, this is what I'm getting to. For some of you guys, if there was a karmic or third party that your person was dealing with, and this is the reason why you left the connection, you did it. Yeah, this this main female in reverse, they're not fucking with them. Mm -mm. This main female showed up as a false person. Okay, why you sitting over here being a mature woman that they can't stop thinking about? Mm. They want to message you. They want to reach out to you. What else can you tell me? What can you tell me about this main, this this main female, this false person? What can you tell me about that? I iron coffin. They held this this main female. Look, they hold they held 
this other person, this third party in Hayana, that shit over. Also, too, the connection with you is over. They, 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 They know this other outside energy was you or they could replace you with them or something of the sort. That shit was a bust and now it's over. Not only is it over with you, it's over with this third party too. Mm -hmm. This is why they couldn't handle your love. They ran to a weaker connection and that shit's a bust. They, 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 they can't handle it. They don't know. They don't even know what to do with themselves because of it. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the intentions of the collector's person towards the collective regarding love? What is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective regarding love? Please and thank you. Let's get a few cards from here and I, I see you. I see you. They don't really change the deck. All right. Let's, let's see. What's this? Justice. Ooh. They want to make things right. Libra energy is here. Yeah, they want to balance them scales here because they had a crossroads. For some of you guys, you blocked your person. This is why this ending is over. Now, with this high honor and ending, you could have been married to your person, engaged to your person, something of the sort, and it ended. And now they want to bring justice. They want to bring balance back into the connection. But they're blocked. They feel as though they're blocked, but they want to put their work in. They focus now on some type of movement towards you or communication with this eight of wands. Mm. What else can you tell me about the intentions of the collective person towards the collective? Let's see. Let's get it. Look, yep, yep, yep. They coming. Chariot energy gonna flop out. Cancer energy, they coming. They moving forward. They being divinely guided this is what I heard. Because they have a lot of love for you with this Ace of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. They love you so much because they heartbroken. They broke your heart, and now they're sitting over here in heartbreak. And now they want to move forward towards you with this love offer here. Some of you guys have a chance to, to restart. Damn it, judgment at the bottom of the deck. Thank you, conf no, thank you for the confirmation. Some of you guys have a chance to rekindle or restart because your person is remorseful and regretful. Now they see the truth. You were right. Now they didn't came to an awakening here. Judgment. Some of you guys, they're sitting under judgment with this heartbreak because of the loss of you. Like I said, now they realize they love you. We have justice and judgment out here. What the fuck your person do? Because now they're sitting over here in heartbreak. <clears throat> they're sitting in heartbreak because they broke your heart. And this is why you ended it. This is why they can't stop thinking about you. They are, they are really heartbroken with this judgment and heartbreak. This is karma out here, okay? So for some of you, if your person chose another person, a third party, that shit ended in heartbreak and that's a part of their karmic justice. Here. Wow. They wanna come back, they want you to heal their heart. You know, they made, they made the wrong decision, false person. What's this? Ooh, the Empress. Ooh yeah, this is why. This is why they want to come back around. Because you are the empress. They want a brand new passionate beginning. But you cut that ass off. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. Oh, yeah. It was some type of argument or some type of truthful communication that you had with your person. Hence the reason why they say you were right. The Queen of Swords went up against the King of Swords. And it's making me feel like the King of Swords lost. Because the Queen of Swords came with the truth. Looking dead at the King of Swords. King of Swords can't even face him. Can't even face the Queen of Swords. It's making me feel like um, this King of Swords energy was very defensive. Yeah, tower moment. I mean, it, it, it blew up. This was a, a blowout argument. Or after you guys had this conversation, it, it changed things. It's like you guys had an argument. And then Booyah broke up. It was it. That was the last straw for you, Collector. You told you told your person the truth. They tried to defend it. Because they was trying to be in, in, in a very uh, head of a heart energy, I want to say. Now you turned your back towards your person. And you're looking to see what else is better out there for you. See what else you could go towards or see what else is coming in. This is that taller moment. This is why your person is in the three of swords energy because they didn't see this ending coming. Uh-uh. 
They didn't know it would end like this is what I heard. They didn't know it would end like this. They didn't know that you would turn your back and have other things coming into you. Uh-huh. Now they're thinking, hey, man, energy. Now they're looking at things from a different perspective because they're sitting in this Three of Swords energy. Like I said, this Ace of Cups and this judgment right here, now they realize they love you. But it was after the ending or the breakup with you. Okay? All right, well, let's get some advice. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the collective regarding this connection? What advice do you have for the collective regarding this connection? Peace and thank you. Let's see. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side, Divine Feminine. And you come down with justice and judgment with the Ace of Cups here. Um, don't let your past hold you back. You got new love coming in. Yeah. You got new love coming in and it's coming in fast. And it it it, it's, it, it brought a tower moment to your person. They could have found, found this out because the King of Swords is very smart. They're not stupid. Okay. They're very intellectual. So they put two and two together and they do make uh, four. Their understanding is on point, and now they understand why you cut them out of this connection and moving forward because you are the empress. Baby, your, your love is protected. You protect your, your own self. You protect your own heart. This is why you deaded the connection. This is why the Grim Reaper is here. And now your person want to chase you. They want to chase you and give you all kind of kisses and shit. But that ain't even enough because they done already showed their hand by being selfish. Now they're out of time. Too late. They realize who you were or realize the connection too late. Out of time. Yeah. Now they want this passion and new beginning and love with you. And this, you move forward with this chariot and energy. Sit next to justice. What else? What advice do you have? End of a tough cycle approaches. See what I mean? This this tough cycle has ended or is ending. Yeah. And now it's time to take action and move forward. Move forward to something that you want or someone that is more than what you have. Something of the sort. There's some type of change and transformation that's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What can you tell me? What advice do you have? What advice do you have, Holy Spirit? I'll take it. Time to release negativity. It's time to release the past is what I'm hearing. New start is coming. Can't make it up. It's time to release the past. A new start is coming. Okay? That's how they said, bring that on out there. What else can you tell me? What other advice? What is that? I don't know. I heard it. But <laughs> time to release the past. Don't let your past hold you back. I can't make this up. Mm -mm. The energy is gaining momentum. It's, things are happening. A new romantic cycle begins. And it's because you, you, you grew from this connection. You grew and learned your lessons that you needed to learn from this connection with your person. And now your person is sitting over here in guilt and regret because they lost you. They lost a good one. They lost a person. They lost an empress. I mean, come on, let's keep this shit 100. They lost an empress. I mean, that shit do hurt. This is why they over here sitting in heartbreak with this tower energy. It's a, it was a shocking surprise that they were going to lose you. It's a shocking surprise that they're sitting in this heartbreak. I mean, it's like they they caused this. They caused this connection to go a bust. Mm -hmm. The answers you need are coming. Yeah. So it's something that you're questioning. You'll get the answers, but you need to be bold and make the first move towards your healer. This is what you did. Time to heal. This is what you did, collective. You make, look, you was bold making the first move, or you need to be towards your healing. Conclusions are within reach. Okay? All right, collective. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.